And if I could have a list, we can, whoops, still signing. For the uh, stenographer and for the record, I am asking that the Medford Community Cable Vision Manual Policies and Procedures revised December 2008 be entered into the record and also the bylaws and I don't let me ask you Mr. Scary is the December 2000 no, I think it's January 2008 is that the last update of the policies Okay, let me try. Do I have to sit closer to this mic? Oh, him. Okay. Okay. Mr. Scary, Attorney Scary, was the January 2008 version of the Manual of Policies and Procedures the last policy revision that is binding on the organization that you know of? Yes, it's. Okay. Where did I? Do? Oh, he wasn't on. I know nothing about what goes on here with those. So. And do you have a copy of the January two thousand and eight? I gave them to you when we were inside. Did you show those to Mr. Scary? He said he needs to see them. And she also has the last copy of the bylaws that I believe is the most current copy of the bylaws. You have to step back to the microphone. I have a pretty strong voice. I, I wish I could accommodate you and authenticate. The internet site for the station actually has those on it. So. Okay. But I, I can't help you further because okay. I neither participated in the production of these documents nor am I particularly familiar with them. As we know, okay. these are in turn. Then I'll just assume that what the internet says are the policies and the bylaws are the policies and bylaws. Yeah, I, I, I okay. wouldn't make that assumption because I don't know. Okay. That's well, those are the two versions that I am going to be using. Okay. Yes. Um. Is that, they aren't the versions? Uh, that's not what my question is, oh, okay. Madam Chairman. Number one, these things ring, and, and I, I have to take them off to talk to you, so bear with me. Uh, does that negate the old bylaws that we, some of us are complaining under? It's back on. If you have old bylaws that you are complaining under I do not have them and you would have to submit them to me you have 10 days after this hearing to give me the old bylaws or policies thank you but it means that some of us bring up stuff that may or may not since we haven't read the new bylaws and it's a change in bylaws we have no idea what's written there madam I we to call you chairperson or and we have, can you call, should you call? Thank you. Chairperson would be fine. I only have the copies that were made available to me. The first set I have is from 2006, December, for policies. Are those the policies that you are referring to? Yes. Then here are the 2006 policies and procedures. And let me give those and have them as exhibits to the stenographer. It's just a fortuity that I brought those. 
And if I can now have the list of speakers. Okay. Yes, I see. And we're going to proceed with the elected officials. Good evening. Good evening, Judge Jackson. My name is Stephanie Mucini Burke. I reside at Five Headland Way, and I'm the City Council President, if I could. I hope that this hearing will bring about a positive change at Medford Community Cable Vision, known as TV3 that will be in the best interest of the Medford Cable ratepayers as well as the members of TV3. I am quite confident that you will hear from fellow citizens on how the spirit of public access has been broken and many suggestions on how to resurrect it from the state it is in currently. You may also hear of certain financial transactions that occurred at the station, selective programming and limited outreach. However, in my role as a city councilor, I'm here to speak on one component that I feel has led to this broken spirit, and that is a breakdown of democracy at TV3. Prior to October 18, 2006, any member had a right to run for one of the 12 seats on the board of directors, with one seat being reserved for the mayoral appointment. Therefore, if enough like-minded members wanted to see a change in the way the station was being run, they could do so by obtaining a majority on the board of directors, and as we all know, majority generally rules. This is similar to how the city council runs and nearly all boards and commissions. However, after public discussions started to occur at the city council meetings, as well as in the coffee shops across our city, on October 18, 2006, the board changed its bylaws to allow for eight members to be appointed